Good day to you. I'm going to show you here roughly how to measure the cook power of your microwave oven. You need a couple things. Your microwave oven of course, or the one you're going to measure. You need a two, uh, two cup measuring cup and a thermometer. I'm going to use this uh, infrared thermometer. And a couple little things. Um, this isn't the gospel. This is kind of a rough way to measure approximate power of your microwave oven. So if the value you get doesn't equal the value of the microwave oven, don't run out, buy a new microwave oven, or take it screaming over to the repair center. Uh, doodle investigation. There are some things that can vary the outcome of this test. One is uh, some of the stuff that's inside the microwave oven, like the, the tray and the turning plate. The material that this is made out of, uh, I would do the test a few times, see what's going on. Now if you do this test and you get uh, substantially reduced uh, wattage compared to what your microwave is, cook power is rated at, and it takes you know forever for things to heat up, then you're probably on the right track. A couple little notes. Uh, there are usually two ratings for microwave ovens. One is the electrical power. That power is usually higher than the cook power. Uh, the cook power is uh, what actually goes into the cavity to actually cook your food. The electrical power or wattage is energy that's needed to run the whole oven. They're, they're taking into account you know motors and displays and buzzers and all that stuff plus the inefficiencies between uh, turning electricity from electrical electricity into microwave energy. So again this isn't the gospel but it's a, it's a pretty good gauge and it'll it's really a good gauge if you want to measure your oven and then write it down somewhere like put it on a piece of tape on the back and then I don't know five years down the road you measure it again and see what's going on and I use this for kind of working on microwave ovens on and off it's a rough just a rough guess it's not uh, the gospel like I said there's a, there's a lot of variables the formula for this is the power of the microwave oven is equal to the volume of water in cc's or milliliters times the what's called rate of rise and that's the difference between the water you put in there and then after you microwaved it the water that came out its temperature in celsius so let's say you put it in at 40 degrees uh, celsius and it came out at 52 degrees celsius that rate of rise or difference is 12 degrees celsius and then that number is multiplied times 4.1868 then all that then that huge number you get the again the volume of water times the rate of rise times that constant the 4.168 um, number excuse me the 4.1868 number is divided by time in seconds and I usually do two minutes just to make it easy so you need roughly two cups of water. Uh, two cups of water is a little bit more than 500 cc's. Excuse me, a little bit less. I'm terribly sorry. And uh, that's, it's again sketchy, but it's good enough for this. Go ahead and let that water stand for, I don't know, 10 seconds. And you might want to get a spoon or a fork would work and just stir it up and let it sit for about 10 seconds. You got your thermometer and you want to read this in Celsius. So I've got 15 Celsius here. You want to write that down somewhere. Yeah, we'll remember it. And then go ahead and stick it in the microwave oven. Again, all this junk inside here could actually vary the test a little bit. So you may want to take it out, but just for fun, we're not going to worry about that. And I gonk in two minutes. So for two minutes, you get to hear me prattle on. Uh, some of the things that can vary the test, like I said, are those whatever the container is in. Um, somewhat of the water, if you have hard or soft water, it can vary a little bit. Again, this is just real rough.
So you're watching microwave water being microwaved. It doesn't get any better than that. I actually got this oven from my neighbors. They moved out the other day and decided just to throw the microwave in the uh, heap on the curb, I guess, for the trash people to carry away. It's got a few little issues, but it does work. So I'm not sure, you know, whether it's not the most brand new microwave. Uh, this microwave was made in October of 2009, so it's about four years old. So, and it's rated at 900 watts cook power. The energy consumption and wattage is 1,350 watts. So you can see there's a little loss there. So let's find out how well a four-year-old microwave oven does after four years. One of the things that can kind of mess up this test is how thick the container you put it in there is, or what kind of a container. Um, yes, yes. Use something that's microwave safe. And you want to use something that uh, microwaves don't. Some, some containers get heated by microwaves, so you want to be careful. That'll kind of jack up your test. Well, get out your handy dandy fork and give it a little stir. And we measure it in Celsius, so that's 53. So that's 37. So we had we had 500 cc's of water times 37 times 4.1868, and then that number is divided by the seconds, which is two minutes. Uh, pardon me, <clears throat> two minutes is 120 seconds. So it's roughly 600. Come on, come on. 600. 645 watts, which isn't too bad. Again, this is only as good as the, uh, you know, the test. If you go to run this test again, you know this this container is heated up, so you're going to have to take that into account. A good way to do it is to use paper cups, but. They don't make too many 500 uh, milliliter paper cups, so it's kind of whatever you make out of it. It's not rocket science. Actually, if you really want to see the formula, it's right there. The power of the microwave oven is equal to the volume of water in milliliters or cc's times the temperature difference or rate of rise times this constant, and then that's divided by time. And you get that. So that might help you gauge uh, how potentially healthy your microwave oven is. Um, you know, there are another other. There are a number of other uh, little formulas out there to measure, you know, microwave oven efficiency or you know heating. Eh, it's okay. Just uh, this is just another way to do it. If you're really worried about it, you can. My suggestion is you consult the manufacturer if you're really, really concerned about it. They have a test which they use as a standard, and if you're going to squabble with them about the power of your microwave oven or if it's running, you know, getting a little tired, make sure that if you're going to do that, you use the same test that they do. You know, if you mix apples and oranges, they might not take you too seriously. But uh, if you say, well, what, what, what kind of test have you got? Can you send me your test procedure? They might take it a little more seriously then. So there you go. There's how to measure the cook power of your microwave oven. Anyway, uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I'd appreciate it. I do other things besides measure water that comes out of microwave ovens. I have a lot of electromechanical, mechanical, electronic... Um, tips and tricks of the trades, uh, random wackiness. So there you go. Anyway, have a groovy day. Take it easy.